Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to continue our simple Wikipedia page using HTML and CSS. So let's jump into the video. Yes. So in the last video, you saw how we can create a simple HTML structure with the header, navigation, main and also the footer. Okay. Now let's see how we can apply CSS on our web application. In order to do that, we have already one index.css where we can apply the CSS. Okay. So let's start with the header. Let's apply some background color and let's check how it will going to work. Okay. So I'll be writing header directly as it's not a class name. So I'm not writing dot and it's not a ID. So it's not having the hash over there. Okay. It's direct header over there. And let's apply background color for now to check if the CSS is working or not. Okay. I'll be writing red as here. And you see, it's not applying the background color because the reason is this is the external CSS we have and we have to link to our HTML file. Okay. In order to link to that, we have to create a link tag in our head. Okay. In the HTML head over here and the link tag should be the rel it will be having the first property we have to mention what type of relation it's it's this so we need to have like style sheet as the relation and then href we need to give the path of the file okay it should be only dot slash and the index dot css and now you see we got our background color over here but you see uh, we have applied to header but still we are getting some white space above and the arounds okay so this space is coming because the body tag is having the default margin and padding. Okay. That we have to remove it. That's the reason it's coming. Okay. So each and every tag will have the by default uh, margin and the padding. Okay. So that we have to remove it. So how we can remove it is firstly we can have over here before this body tag and inside that we can write it as margin zero and you see the side space is gone and once you do padding zero the above space is also going to be zero okay but in this case you see the above space is already there okay the other space is gone but the above it's coming right this space is still there because uh, the margin or like the header is also having the some uh, by default margin okay that we uh, generally don't want okay each and every tag as i mentioned right everyone will have it okay in order to remove everyone's uh, by default margin and padding what you can do is instead of body over here you can write star which represents the universal okay it remove the things whatever we do or if we add something it will apply for universally in our web application and you see earlier in the between the paragraph we also have some space which is also gone if we use star over here okay if i use only body you see, we have some space between this image and this paragraph and between those uh, two paragraphs. Okay. So we have some space. But if uh, you apply star over here, okay, that time this margin and padding zero we have written and it is applying globally. Okay. That time you can use star. Okay. And it's a best practice to have a star instead of body. Okay. Because the uh, some other space will not going to be removed. But with this star, it will entirely remove it. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see over here for the header, right, we have one border bottom over here. And for the navigation as well, we have the border bottom. Okay. Let's try to get this first. Okay. Instead of like background color and all, we can have this uh, border and all. Okay. So, let's go back to our application over here. And first, we have like header. Okay. So, for header, let's try to add. Uh, some border okay so i'll be writing header directly as it's a semantic and then border bottom property okay i'll write one pixel solid and let's say gray okay and you see we got border bottom okay and let's apply some padding as well to this let's say 10 pixel padding and we got our header okay so this is how we have applied for header Let's apply for navigation bar as well. Okay. So for navigation bar, we have direct tag as nav. Okay. We can directly target that thing. Okay. So let's target nav and let's apply some padding first. 
and then we can apply the border okay so i'll be applying border bottom as one pixel solid and it is also gray color okay so you can see uh, image is not having the margin right above margin so that's why we are not able to see there but the border is still there you see over here we have okay yes next we need some space between these two uh, span tags we have right so for that what we can do is we can directly write text span okay and then what we can do is we can do margin left as 10 pixel and we are getting some space between both the spans okay but this is not a best practice okay directly writing the span tag because it sometimes what happen is in the content as well we will going to have somewhere span tags okay and it will going to apply for them also but we don't want to apply for them so what we have to do is we have to come with the parent okay in this case we have the parent as nav right so we have to write nav before the span okay so it will apply only the spans who are related to nav or who are in the nav tag okay so this is how you can apply margin left and next up you see in the wikipedia page we have the active symbol you see this black border for the article it says as uh, this is the active right now okay so let's try to do that as well so in order to do that we have the pseudo selector as first first child last child and child something like that okay so in this case we can do first child okay so i'll be writing nav and then span okay and then we can take as first child and for this we can apply border bottom i guess two pixel solid black okay and you see we are getting border over here uh, mentioning as this is the active right now okay okay so now you see uh, here we can see our image on the right side and the content on the left side in order to achieve this we have the float okay float property which we can apply on this photo section uh, by that help we can get this proper uh, output okay so let's go back to the vs code and let's try to apply it okay so first thing we can see over here we have two section as you can see over here so first section we want this to be uh, move or like float to the right side but you see if you use directly section okay or suppose like main if you want to come from the parent tag okay main and section you can write and if you provide now float as uh, right side both thing will will going to be float on the right side okay as you see uh, it's floating the image is floating on the right side but not this one but it is also floating again if this paragraph is not floated to the right side it will appear over here in the free space okay but as you see main section uh, main and the section both are similar in this case okay so you see for this also we have uh, section and for image also we have section so that's the reason we don't have the uniqueness okay but we want to apply only on this section that time what you can do is either you convert this section to article tag or you apply the class name over here okay so but the class name is the priority so you can apply class name i will write it as image container okay and on this class i will going to apply the float property okay so i'll just remove this thing and let's it is a class so we can write dot and the class name we can paste it over here and then float right and now you see right now only the image is floated not the whole content that's why we are getting the paragraph over here okay earlier it's not coming because the paragraph also is floated okay that's the reason it's not coming and now you see uh, we need some space around our image you see there is no space so what we can do is we can apply some margin okay because the outer space we want and we got some space outside and let's increase to 15 pixel and it will look good okay yeah and now we need some space in the section okay now you can go with the section or if you see if i apply section okay let's see what will happen if i apply padding 20 pixel okay now you see this is applied on two things okay first is for the paragraph second things for image as well but we don't want to image to be having the padding okay because as it's image it giving the space outside okay that's why we don't want it so in that case you can go ahead in the section and apply one more class as a uh, content okay i'll be writing as content and for the content only i will going to apply have the 
padding okay we can have the padding for that okay and now you see we are getting only to the paragraph only not for the image that's why we have very less space or else earlier we have this much space you see this much space here and if i apply a content class you are getting only for the paragraph okay and as well uh, we need between okay each and paragraph uh, its paragraph is ending over here okay but we don't have a space so we don't know where paragraph is ending so in that case what we can do is we can have the content first content class and then we can target the paragraph tag at as it is in the content class only so this is a content class section and paragraph we have over here okay so for the paragraph i will be writing as margin top 20 pixel okay and now you got the space between all the paragraphs okay or you can do bottom as well so we don't get the much space in there okay so now you see we are getting the space between the paragraph so that we can know uh, here the paragraph ending okay yes so i have opened our uh, wikipedia page in our browser and now you see this is how the content looks like okay but uh, according to the wikipedia page which we have it's the whole content is it in the uh, middle okay i we are not building this navigation bar and all for now and the header this is the actual header we are not building right now but you see the content whatever content you see it is in the center okay that time uh, this is the same thing we can build uh, using the css okay let's see how we can build this okay first thing uh, we need to see what is the parent component for this okay for this entire thing we have parent as body tag okay if i go back and you see over here this is the body tag which is the parent for each and every component we have created okay each and every element we have created body tag is the parent okay what we can do is we can have body as some weight and we can apply margin okay let's see how we can do so here i will create body css and i will say weight as 50 percent and i will apply border for now okay to see if it's working or not okay so black color i have applied and let's go back to the browser and you see we are getting properly over here okay this is how we are getting it but we want it in the center okay so that case what you can do is we can apply margin uh, left okay so let's say margin left uh, some 100 pixel and let's see how it will be visible yeah it's uh, moving very slowly so let's apply 400 and let's see yeah now you see we are getting the whole content in center but this is not the correct way to do it okay because margin will change based on the screens okay so that's why we should not doing this okay we have one more other thing which with the help of that we can do it okay so let's see what is that yes uh, first thing what you have to do is you have to take as max width okay you have to mention that this much width i want max okay so let's suppose 600 pixel we are taking it then we have to mention weight as 100%. Okay, it should the width should match the max weight, which is 600. And 100% means the 600 pixels. Okay. And then what you can do is you can write margin auto. Okay. And let's save it. And let's go back. And let's see. This is how we are getting it. Okay. As I have removed the border, so you are not getting the border around it. But using this margin and the max width, you can get it. Okay. Margin auto we have given. So it will go auto will going to take the margin from left and right equally and you will get the content in the center okay so this is how you can make the content center okay okay so in this video we saw how we can apply css on our simple web app and in the next video we are going to see how we can deploy our web app to the internet okay using the github okay so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and give it a thumbs up. I'll be back with more content in the next video. Thank you.